The following video is a description of diffuse quadriceps tendinosis, primarily to the rectus femoris portion. Here's the bony anatomy associated with the suprapatellar region of the anterior knee. Superimposed CAT scan will be modeling the quadricep tendon insertion to the base of the patella, followed by the quadricep fat pad, which is seen here highlighted in yellow. Also here highlighted in yellow is the perifemoral fat pad, which surrounds the anterior aspect of the femur. And highlighted here in blue is the anterior articular hyaline cartilage. And in light blue would be the normal synovial recess of the suprapatellar bursa. Here is the corresponding normal quadricep tendon image as the tendon fibers insert to the highlighted patellar base, the proximal surface. Highlighted here is the interior margin of the femur. Highlighted here in blue is the fibrillar pattern of the normally situated quadriceps tendon. Highlighted here in yellow is the quadriceps fat pad. Also highlighted here in yellow is the perifemoral fat pad. And next we have highlighted here in light blue as the normally appearing synovial recess of the suprapatellar bursa. To further demonstrate the extensor mechanism of the quadricep tendon, having the patient tighten their quad will also force fluid into the suprapatellar recess. If no joint effusion is identified, this is one way to bring out normal physiologic fluid between the two fat pads. This image shows a diffuse formation of the more superficial layer of the quadricep tendon. Highlighted in white is a normal appearing base of the patella. Highlighted here is the normal appearing anterior surface of the femur, followed by a thickened quadricep tendon insertion proximal to its insertion of the patella. Highlighted here in yellow is the normal appearing quadriceps fat pad, followed by the normal appearing perifemoral fat pad. Here we have in light blue a more normal appearing physiologic amount of synovial fluid, and in red represents the superficial layer of the quadricep tendon, which is now diffuse, indicating diffuse tendinosis of the rectus femoris portion.